What does a win like this, Sweeney, do uh, for Philadelphia for their playoff run? Yeah, and you know what? They're looking for that excitement. They're also looking for Bryce Harper to be that guy that they signed long-term. And sometimes that takes a little bit of time for Bryce Harper. Uh, they made a hitting coach change. Charlie Manuel comes over. It's almost like a team meeting when you have a change in coaching staff and then the offense comes up with back-to-back -back nights and a staple moment for Bryce Harper. It almost is magnified, but this is something that you're going to look at with the National League. They are in a team that really has that opportunity, but there's also shortcomings if you look at this club along with the others in the National League. But Bryce Harper tonight gave them a lot of hope, and the Philadelphia Philly fans went out home very happy. You know, I spent some time with Gabe Kapler on Saturday, and he said that the way they're going to get into this thing and get to the postseason is going to be because of their offense and because of their hitting. And, you know, that's what's happened the last couple of nights is they've come out, they've swung the bats, and look, the reality is Bryce Harper, he's got to be the centerpiece. They, they, they've got Hoskins, they've got Real Muto, they've got Segura. But, but Bryce has to be the guy that is that spinning top and all the energy is emanating. And he's done that. He's done that the last couple of games. And he has the potential to just absolutely go off. I mean, you go back to his 2015 season, and he had months where he hit 13 home runs, another one where he hit 10. That's what they're going to need to see for this month and for September if they expect to play in October. Seven home runs already in August for Bryce Harper. Remember, just last night we were talking about mm -hmm. uh, how the playoff hopes were affected for the Phillies because of Jake Arrieta being sh shut down, and now you say it's the offense getting going. Do you think that he can lead this team if they get to the playoffs, through the playoffs. It's something he did not do with the Nationals. Well, I mean, I mean we, you just got to get there first. And that $330 million said at the beginning of the, or in the offseason that, yeah, there's a lot of people that believe he's the type of player to do that. So, you know, you get to the postseason, a lot of different things can happen. He is, he's got to get him there. Their pitching for me is still, I mean, it's so suspect. So when you get to the October, you know, you just don't know how long it's going to last. But he can will this team because of the emotion and because of his ability to October. Yeah, and I think you people don't realize how daunting a task it is to sign a long-term contract, go to another team, and then when you have that signature moment that he had tonight, that can propel him to really kick in that offense. These type of players can sustain a, a long, hot stretch, and it really can do a wonders for the offense. And more importantly, I mean, they not more importantly, but the Cubs... They get swept in three games right after, a day after, you know, they lose the first place spot to the St. Louis Cardinals in a tight central race. Well, and there's a couple things. Like, we're watching this video. You know what You know what strikes me? It's not Harper running around or whatever. Derek Holland is on the mound throwing to Bryce Harper with the game on the line. I mean, Derek Holland was pitching out of the bullpen for the Giants and then just got DFA released. I mean, I, I don't understand. The Cubs right now, for me, I mean... They are, they're an Instagram team. That's what they are. They look good. They look great. But when you peel back the layers and look at the substance, you go, wait, they're, they're not even, they're not in first place. Their percentage point, they, they should be a lot better than what they are. And I'm waiting. I'm hoping. I want to see it as a fan. But I don't know if it's there this year. The Cubs 15 games under 500 on the road as they get swept by the Philadelphia Phillies in Philadelphia.